Hey guys, welcome back to my series where we cover the top 200 mods for Minecraft 1.12.2. We're on episode 5 now, meaning that we've made it through the first 100 mods. Make sure to watch the other episodes if you haven't already. Chisel and Bits allows you to create intricate designs in Minecraft by using the chisel, which has a few different tiers. You can precariously chip away at blocks pixel by pixel to create your own designs. To stop your inventory from filling up, you can also make use of the included bit bags. There's also the saw, which can be used to repeatedly cut blocks up into smaller sizes instead, which is what I like most about this mod. Clumps is a performance mod which will group all of your XP orbs together. That way, you'll have less entities in the world which should reduce lag and also make collecting the XP a little easier. The Nature's Compass is a new item which can be crafted with four logs, four saplings, and a compass. When you interact with it, you'll open up an interface where you can search for biomes and learn information about them. If you choose to, a compass will point at a biome or towards your spawn point. Cosmetic Armor Reworked allows you to wear two sets of armor, one which is for appearance and one for function. That way, you can have the effects of enchanted diamond armor but it will appear like you're wearing leather armor instead. To the bat poles adds a new means of transportation, which is the iron bars. When you stack them on top of each other, you'll be able to slide down them, similar to what you'd see in a firehouse. You can only slide down them though, as you can't climb up them. Realistic item drops will change how dropped items appear in your world. It adds many features, with the most prominent being items actually resting on the floor when they're dropped, instead of hovering around. You can also disable Auto Pickup, so that you need to actually right-click items to pick them up. If you're sprinting, you can drop items to throw them instead, and other players can even catch them in mid-air. Epic Fight Mod adds quite a lot of new mechanics when it comes to combat in Minecraft. You'll have new combat animations, and you'll be able to conduct basic dash and roll attacks. Quite a lot of mobs also have new animations to go with the mod. You'll find some new weapon and armor stats too, which will determine the stun duration, number of enemies hit, and more. Biome Bundle is a huge mod which will overhaul the terrain generation of your world. I covered it in another recent 1.12 video where I talked about some of the best graphics mods. Biome Bundle includes over 400 biomes and 2,000 structures which includes custom trees, rocks, villages, and more. If you use biomes aplenty, then there's also a compatibility patch available which can be found on the mod page. Streams will add realistic rivers into Minecraft, which feature a true current and they'll even drag you around. They just enhance your world a little more, as you'll also find rivers flowing downwards through slopes and waterfalls. Even though you might already know about it, I wanted to mention Optifine for anyone who is new to modding. It provides access to a lot more graphic settings, but its main feature is that it allows you to use shaders, which make the game look a lot better. I have a short video on my channel for installing Optifine alongside Forge. Torchmaster adds new items which will impact how mobs spawn in your world. Firstly, there's the Mega Torch, which can be crafted from diamonds, gold blocks, logs, and torches. When placed down, hostile mobs won't spawn in a radius around it. Alternatively, there's the Dread Lamp, which can disable the spawning of passive animals instead. It also includes the Terrain Lighter, which is a block that can be placed down. When provided with fuel and torches, it will automatically light up the area around you. The tool belt is incredibly useful and can be crafted using five leather, two string, and an iron ingot. When crafted, it will provide two slots, but can be upgraded using pouches so that it holds up to nine items instead. The reason this mod is so useful is because it can store all your tools and you can quickly switch between them at the press of a button, saving you a lot of space on your hotbar and time switching between tools. Spartan Shields adds lots of new shields, which you'll be able to upgrade as you progress through the game. They're different to regular shields as they have an included bash mechanic, which can be done by pressing both the right and left mouse buttons together. Some shields will give negative effects to targets when you block attacks, such as increased damage, slowness, and glowing. 
The new Spikes enchantment can be applied too, which gives a chance to deal damage to enemies when attacks are blocked. Some shields will require other mods for their recipes to be available. Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod adds over 80 unique pieces of furniture, which are great for building homes with, and is a great addition to other furniture mods that you install. Some of the new items include chairs, tables, lamps, curtains, trash cans, and beds. Some items have interactions too, so you can turn on lamps, open curtains, and store items in containers. No additional mods or blocks are needed either, as all the new furniture can be crafted with vanilla items. Spice of Life Carrot Edition will reward you for eating a varied diet in Minecraft. The mod will keep track of the unique foods you eat, and when you reach a new milestone, you'll be rewarded with some additional max health. In the configuration file, you can change your starting health, as well as the health you gain from eating new foods. Waddles is a simple mod adding a new animal, which is the penguin. They're cute creatures and have some custom sounds and animations. To find them, you should head towards some snowy-styled biomes in your world. Potion Core will add lots of new potions which give varied effects. I'm not going to talk about every single one, but there's a few that are worth mentioning. Recoil will reflect a portion of damage back to the attacker. Solid Core gives knockback resistance. Potions of Spiders allows you to climb walls. Escape will teleport you to the surface, making it great for if you're inside caves. Reach will increase your reach distance, which is useful for gathering resources and attacking mobs. Player Revive is great if you're playing with friends. When you die, you'll be hit with a countdown screen, giving your friends a bit of time to come and save you. That way, you get a second chance and won't lose your items or be teleported back to your spawn point. Alternatively, you can just choose to skip the timer and give up instead. By default, the timer is one minute long but you can change that in the config files. Weeping Angels are inspired from the creatures in Doctor Who, who are statue-like beings. There are different types of Weeping Angels who will slowly stalk you and remove torches when you're not looking. When you turn around, they'll stand still, disguising themselves as statues. If a Weeping Angel reaches you, they can teleport you to a random location in random dimensions. You can use the timey-wimey detector to check if one is nearby, whereas the chronodyne generator can be used to clear them from your world. I really like the chunk animator mod. Any chunks that are loading in the distance won't just pop in out of nowhere anymore. With the default settings, they'll rise up from the ground instead, which looks a lot smoother. Although in the config files, you can find five different animation modes that you can choose from. That's the end of episode 5. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for when I release other episodes. And you can check out my channel for a lot more Minecraft 1.12.2 videos.